Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Corpse Party Blood Covered Repeated Fear for the 3DS. Now, where we last left off, so we've had Yoshiki and Ayumi explore the school, and we haven't been able to uh, find uh, Miss Yui's corpse anywhere, or find a way to get into the classroom where she died. But, as we were exploring the school... I, we, we've noticed that uh, Ayumi seems to be gradually being affected by the malevolent forces that are within this building. Within this nexus, as it were. And I think I managed to make the right decision or two needed in order to uh, hopefully save her from it. And thus lead us to the best possible outcome that uh, Chapter 2 has for us. I don't know if that's indeed what's going to happen. I may very well be on my way towards uh, achieving one another wrong end here, but I guess time will tell, I suppose, whether or not I uh, am on the right track. Oh, and uh, while we were exploring, we found uh, we found Satoshi's sister, uh, Yu uh, Yuka, you know, Yuka. I'm having trouble keeping her name straight here. And She's uh, expressing a little too much sympathy for the dead kid, for the spirit of the dead spirits of the dead kids roaming these halls, and well, she's now floating in the infirmary, and I have no immediate way to get her down. So, faced with that problem, we've run into a uh, pet, and we've run into a person called uh, Naho Sinoki, a paranormologist, or I think as she was called. Who seems to know? Who see? Who's basically uh, given us a uh, direction on what we could do to try and uh, save uh, Yuka? So the thing is, these uh, the these spirits that we've been seeing running around, the spirits of the blue of the blue dead kids. Apparently, there it's those four, with uh, unconfirmed fourth ones who, with unconfirmed identity of the fourth one. But yeah, it's these four these four kids here. We don't know for sure who the fourth one is yet here, who are apparently creating these um, this nexus that are uh, that are bas that basically created this this school because well they never found closure. And uh, Naho basically suggested that uh, in order to help said kids find said closure and thus free us all. By uh, basically taking away all the pain and suffering that's holding these dimensions together. We try to get their killer, who is also apparently roaming this the, this nexus, to express some measure, uh, some manner of remorse for what he's done to them. So, how the hell we're going to accomplish that is honestly anyone's guess, but well. As Satoshi, as uh, Yoshiki has pretty much stated... It's better than having no lead at all, so we might as well just go ahead and see if we can find this killer somewhere. So, I guess the obvious question is, where would said killer likely be, if anywhere, in, if anywhere here in this particular dimension at all? That's the memoir. Victims' memoirs number three. I've been searching every last corner of this school building, trying to find a way of escaping with her. But it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, only further misery awaits us. I'm so unbearably thirsty. So hungry that it feels like my stomach is eating itself. And every moment it gets worse. It's like a big black mass in front of me that's slowly closing in. I can't keep ignoring it. I start talking to the eyeball in my hand to help stay focused and maintain my sanity. Stop looking at me like that. I swear, I'll find us a way out of here. I have to make sure I tell your family what you did for me. Yeah, you've clearly reached You've clearly slipped off the, the um the plane of sanity. 
that the rest of us are on and have gone into cuckoo land. My sympathies. Music stopped. Okay, never mind. I thought I was some important. Maybe they're up on higher on the what's that? There's a severed head of an old fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. Why not? Let's pick it up. Hey, I've seen that in the intro. What? Hmm. That was odd. I wonder why the game slowed. Thoughts began to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its sole desire. What the? I hear a voice. Return my body? Acquired antique doll head. Okay, I guess we're... Going on a scavenger hunt. I wonder, is the killer in this room? So yeah, I guess we're going to be f looking for pieces of this doll. Now let's make sure that I haven't missed anything. Whoa. Okay, uh, I guess we gotta worry about holes now popping up wherever we walk now. Hey, is that. No. That's a uh, previous one. I wonder, is the uh, next doll piece in here somewhere? That's a definite no. Yep. Definitely a no. Okay, let's uh, look up here. Hey, is that another piece? There's an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. It seems to be missing its head. Let's pick it up. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate soul desire. What the? I hear a voice. Give me back my head. Okay, we got the rest of your body. I thought I'd be split up into more parts in this. As the head and the body of the antique doll are joined, it begins speaking more clearly and directly. With a high-pitched voice like that of a child, it slowly repeats several phrases in a cold, methodical, and almost robotic monotone. Two to have killed children so brutally. I was not in my right mind. The killer? I 
I did not want them to die. I was scared too. Scared of what? I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. I am actually a good person. So sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. Still? Belong to the murderer? I don't know. This seems a little too straightforward. Doesn't it kind of piss you off? Like it's just playing around and saying what we want to hear. Yeah, that this yeah, this seems little this seems too good to be true. Seems way too straightforward. We don't need this thing. Wait. Don't you think it might count as repentance from the murderer? Acquired repentant spirit. I'll never forgive him. No matter what he says. She says to it hurts. Yeah. Okay. This, this, that, this can't just be it, can it? I just find this random little doll lying around and then I just... Up and take it to those kids? I don't know. I mean, again, this seems a little just... A tad too easy. Oh, hey. Hi, kid. How you doing? Still chasing me, I see. I'm not in the mood to play or get buried alive or anything, really. I just uh, want to rescue the kid's sister. I guess that answers that question of respawn points. You definitely don't just reset your position every time I leave or enter a room. Yeah, um, I just want to look around a little bit more first, just in case there's something I might be missing here. Because, again, this doll, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just being paranoid, but I want to be absolutely sure that there's no tricks behind this doll that I can easily, that there's no tricks to this doll, which I could easily avoid if I just look you around a bit more, you know? Found number four, victim's memoirs. I'm writing these memoir these memoirs with sticky hands, but it's not me that is sticky, but something else. I hope you're not mad about this. Maybe you'll think I'm horrible person. But I got hungry again. Really hungry, like I was about to die, so I did something I shouldn't have done. You ate the eyeball, didn't you? I promised myself I would stay sane, and promised myself I wouldn't do what I did. But I am so, so sorry. Really, really sorry. Really sorry, but there is no excuse for what I did. With bloody hands, I took the thing that, that I'd been squishing, and I put it in my mouth, and I swallowed it. I ate it. Ew. Anything at all. Anything.
Yeah, I guess maybe we do need to take that doll after all. Yeah, it's looking like it. Now, I wonder where we're going to find the last memoir. Alright, let's just save, I guess. Give me back the kid's sister. Open your eyes, please. Haven't you ghost done enough already? I don't know about everything that happened to you. And yeah, I get that it was really horrible. But you're, but you're cursing and killing innocent people had nothing to do with any of it. What the hell is that supposed to accomplish? Huh? Stop! If you make them mad, they'll shut us out. Come on, you two. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Naomi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to the Pentian spirit sealed within. You can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. Some... Maybe I'm... Again, maybe I'm being paranoid, but I think this is not helping. The horrible thing that happened to you are all in the past... The horrible things that happened to you all... Happen to you are all in the past. Your loved ones. Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. Please? I know you can do it. Let go of that girl. Let go of Suzumoto. Yeah, I knew it. No! Stop! Oh shit! No, this is not good. Oh shit! Aomi threw the antique doll to the ground in a fit of panic and frustration. Is she... No. Do I... Wait. It sounds like something getting smashed against something. Don't tell me she's basically been thrown against the wall. Oh, God, yes. Most likely. Oh, shit! Then these bloody chunks I've seen in Naomi's and Naomi's Nexus. Oh no. What the hell? Oh shit. Ah! 
accident. It couldn't be. Shinzaki, don't look. Come on, let's get away from here. I can't take this anymore. Shinzaki! I'm really starting to lose it. Who the hell? Shino. Are you the killer? Wait, you're alive? What? What? The shell feels like it's gotten lighter. Get the Ugh. Sensei, you believe me now? Do you believe me now? Do you believe me now? So you're really. Truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Of course I am. But you're just their instructor, no? You have no familiar bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children! <laughs> I think I speak for every single one of us at Kisaraki Academy. When I say we, that we care uh, that we love our children, we care about them just as much as their par just as their parents do. Never underestimate a teacher. <laughs> now, answer me this. Your little rant earlier suggested that more of my students are here than the two I came with and the one I heard. Is it true? Were the others brought here as well? It is. Numerous corporeal entities joined us in these closed spaces. All at the same time. Counting you, I sense the arrival of nine people. My right arm is definitely broken. this blood. All those cunning implements on the shelf must have done a number on my back. I wonder how long I was out for. My question is, are you actually alive? Shinozaki and Kishinuma must be worried. I need to get back to the classroom. The spirit was trapped here, just like us. Succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred, one victim drawn to harm, to harm another. It's not just people trapped in this space, but their sadness and torment as well. It's got nowhere to go, so it just hangs in these halls. 
We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Please, everybody, stay safe. Continued in chapter three. Okay, so I got the, the true end for chapter two. Continue to third chapter. Chapter three has been unlocked. Well, okay then, we got chapter three unlocked. Uh, okay, so I got three bad ends I still need to see in chapter two. So, um... I guess I will... I guess I'll uh, work towards uh, seeing and unlocking the uh, other wrong ends for uh, Chapter 2 first before I move on to Chapter 3, just like, just like I did with Chapter 1. So... I will uh, see you guys again when I uh, get to something new. Hey, I think that's the last... Victim memoir, yeah? Yep. Made it this far. If you are reading this, allow me to forewarn you. There is no hope of rescue. There is nothing to be gained. Endless wandering and endless torture is the nature of this place. I succumb to my hunger and thirst. Began nibbling on that corpse again. There is no flavor, no sensation. Just meat and fluid to sate my empty belly. I promised I would not desecrate your body anymore, but I broke that promise. Please. Give me. Shinzaki! Whoa. Shinzaki. Oh no. You, you got possessed, you killed her, and you started eating her, didn't you? What did. Oh man. Oh dear. <laughs> What the hell was in my mouth? It's like blood. Oh dear. Yikes. Poor Ayumi. No, it can't be. Shinosaki! 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 This is definitely her. But why? Who the hell did this to you? Uh. Who was it? I'll make them pay. Shinozaki's Testament. It's a yellowed school flyer, presumably taken off the wall somewhere along the way. A short message has been hastily scribbled in pen on the reverse side. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm going to be killed. I'm going to be eaten. He's chasing me. 
And I can't keep running. If anyone should find this paper, I urge you bring him to justice. The one who killed me for sustenance. My classmate. Kishinuma. Kishinuma. Feasting again, are we? on the bright side, at least in the true ending of chapter 2, at least you don't get to eat her. I am so sorry that I put you through that. Okay, I'm going to try to tell you to just cut the crap this time. Where are you? I believed in you. Has anybody listen to me? This looks the same. Okay. So... What if I try leaving? Shinozaki. I shouldn't just walk away from her like this. But man, I'm really scared of her right now. I wonder what did this to her. Shinuma! Shinuma! Crap. This looks the same. Yeah, this looks like a repeat of the fl this flashback. No. Thank God for the skip option. So yeah, I actually thanked her for what she did that day. Crying on my behalf. So I swear I was here. What did I do? What did I do? Okay, I am hearing things, and it sounds like Ayumi. This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me. She know. Oh shit! You've gotta be kidding me! 
your neck or something, if I had to guess. In addition to multiple bones broken all throughout his head and neck, Yoshiki's ribcage shattered on impact and pierced his lungs. Oh, do dear God. As he convulsed and writhed in an ever-growing puddle of his own blood and internal fluids, his vision hastily grew dark. The last thing he saw was a figure with wide, empty eyes and an unnatural smile st stretched across the length of its face, rocking slowly back and forth in admiration of its handiwork. Ayumi was, very, was clearly very pleased with herself. <laughs> okay, that's wrong end number two. Again, poor bastard. Nice. Okay, we got one more to find. See you guys again soon. Okay, this time I'm gonna grab the stone. There's something here. It's a shame for a blow. Let's take that. Acquired power stone. Okay, so what exactly is this thing? A pale violet crystal found by Mrs. Yui protects its bearer from harm. I should have grabbed this from the start. This might be it. This might actually be useful. Miss Yui? I don't... I think... That really was a scream we heard. Hmm? Did you find something? Yeah. Some kind of gemstone lying on the ground. Ruby? Looks like a ruby. Or... No, probably an amethyst? Kishinuma, you can identify gemstones? No, not really. Shinozaki's the one to ask for that kind of stuff. Is that so? Well, maybe I should tr give it to her. I'll give it to her. I guess now is probably not the best time for that. But will you take it and give it to her once she's calmed down a bit? It might make her feel a little better. No problem. Well. I guess... Maybe this is what I need to do in order to put myself on uh, our what missing wrong end. Okay, let's say spare me this time. I think this will most likely be the most straightforward thing that'll lead us to our extra bad end. Of course, I want you to spare my life, but if I can die in their places, then I'll do it. Gladly, you really don't have a selfish bone in your body. I'm impressed. You're one stubborn little bitch. You know, I just had a thought. These candles I've been li leaving lying around the school. Maybe they showed up in Naomi's world. Na Naomi and Seiko's because... Ayumi's been lighting them in this one. So, I guess that means that maybe chronologically, 
chapter two happened for the events of chapter two happened before chapter one. I don't know. Just speculating again as usual. Just thinking crap as I go along. I wonder if I just left her down there. If that would be what I need to do to take me to the bad end. I'm gonna try. Okay, there's no prompt telling me that I should go back and maybe check on this, on, you know, the first floor, so. That's definitely a good sign. You're still here, I see. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna pull this little lever. Hey, Ayumi. Kishinuma, where are you? Don't leave me all by myself. Uh, what? You got s sliced by razor wire, didn't you? Yep. I'm going to say that's a yes. Oh shit, man. Oh dear. Well, Yoshiki, prepare to lose your sorry little mind yet again. Although, to be fair, it's probably better than losing your mind to the point where you're eating her. Maybe. Yeah, I'd say yes. Oh, shit! Yikes, man. Now I feel like an asshole. Is that... Sh Shinozaki? Ah! Why? No! Oh great. Now we're now we're gonna get sliced up too. Oh. <laughs> Please just end this. Well, you're about to get your wish, man. <laughs> Is this happening? What's the point of it all? Why the hell do we have to be put through all this? Why? Why did you have to die? Because you didn't try hard enough to find her. Is, is this someone's idea of a joke? Shinozaki. Why do I have to see you like this? I will not repeat myself. Why couldn't it have been me instead? Well... Yeah. God damn it.
Again, I feel like an asshole. Well, let's see. Yep, we got them all. So, I guess in the next episode, we're going to start Chapter 3. Hopefully, uh... Yeah, hopefully you're not... Hopefully you're not dead. That, uh... That, um... Our kill... Our murderer... Didn't just... Decide to just take your corpse somewhere. That maybe you were knocked unconscious or something. If I had to get... If I... If I were a betting man... And, well... I kind of am. I would say that you're probably still alive. Anyway, we'll find out in the next episode, I guess, when we start Chapter 3. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this latest episode of Corpse Party Blood Covered Repeated Fear. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys for Chapter 3. Take care.